Hey, what's going on, everybody? CW Entertainment back again with some more Madden 24. We're back here with our Chicago Bears franchise, and we are trying to see if we can hang on here in the playoff race. You guys can see we are 7-7. Seven and seven. We got a favorable matchup versus the Arizona Cardinals at 3-11. and 11. But Right now, the NFC North is looking like we're not going to have a shot at it. We're pretty much three games behind Detroit. They own the tiebreaker. They ended up sweeping us this year. And I know, yeah, it's, it's looking a little tough. I mean, it's not going to be an easy one to overcome. But who knows? It might be best for us to kind of miss the playoffs. If you guys did watch the last video, let me go ahead and first off and apologize because I have to re-upload it. I had no clue. So thanks, Alex, for letting me know that during the live stream that the end like got cut off. So <laughs> literally like the last, I believe, sheesh. Like five, it may have been extra five or seven minutes, something like that. It just got absolutely not uploaded. I don't know exactly what happened. Must have been something during the export that didn't allow it to upload, but it's fixed now, so I appreciate it. Um, hope you guys, you know, enjoying your Friday here, and um, hopefully you guys, you know, enjoy your weekend. So we get look ready to wrap this one up. And that's another thing, it was kind of key because, hey, the way that game ended, and then now I mean, we got some stuff when we hopped into the next week. We got a breakout wide receiver. We got a breakout linebacker, so... Got some guys potentially going up in dev traits here, and we're going to see what that is. Um, but first things first, we are going to go ahead and make the switch. Um, yeah, we're, in, we're not dealing with a – I think it's time to go ahead and can P.J. Walker. I'm going to go ahead and throw Tyson Bajan in as the starting quarterback. And you know what? Hopefully, you know, he can he can do something for us. Um, you know, I mentioned at the end of the last episode, you know, I was going to bump up his overall stuff. So I'm still going to do that too. I'm going to do that before we hop into the game. But yeah, it's just kind of giving, it's, it's not much. I mean, it's very, very slight. I think it's like a couple points here and there into the accuracy really, but it's nothing crazy. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then, yeah, I, I actually, you know, that's really about, probably about it. But yeah, let's see what this breakout wide receiver and breakout linebacker are about. I don't know who we're talking. This might actually be Komet. Matt did have, I was thinking this might be, end up being Tyler Scott, but this this might be Cole Komet. It is Komet. Okay, wow. Well, three touchdowns or 150 yards, man. That That's going to be tough. We're going to try and get it, but wow. Okay, that was Komet. Man, just put tight end. I could agree. How, how, how hard is that to put tight end instead of wide receiver? All right, let's see who the breakout linebacker is. Oh, Sam Bourne. Jack Sanborn is looking to do something. Okay, I like it. Yeah. Don't really know what all he did in that last game, but okay. I'm looking for a tackle for a loss, a sack, forced fumble, or a pick, or hold him on the 250 yards. Don't know if that part will happen, but it's, it might be possible. You never know. Sometimes, shoot, we can rack up enough sacks. We can really you know, knock down those total yards. But all right, Sanborn is trying to. Okay, those are not two guys I was really was expecting. I was expecting, like, maybe a Tremaine Edmonds was trying to go up or TJ um, Edwards. Yeah, wow, two guys. I was I was way off of what I thought. So, cool. All right, I'm gonna hop into this weekly strategy, and I think you know that's really all about it. This that is really much in the news cycle. Uh, yeah, we are seeing some stuff with some of the um, college athletes, but that's really about it. But yeah, nothing crazy. Let's get into this game versus the Arizona Cardinals. Is we're back at home, back in Chicago. Got two games, two home games left, three games left in the regular season. Let's see how this ends up going. Let's get to it. Well, before we are getting this game, Coco Matt actually has an upgrade. So that is nice, especially since he's trying to get up to being a superstar dev. So hopefully we can get my boy there. That's some good upgrades right there, too. And Cole Komet, let's do it, baby. Let's see if we can get him involved enough. 150 yards, that's probably pushing it. We're probably going to have to shoot for the, the touchdowns. But who knows? We'll see how everything works out. Let's see if we have opportunities. Let's get to it. Let's get down to Soldier Field. Oh, snap. Wow, we got a snow game. This is the first snow game I am playing on Madden 24. I'm actually kind of glad to actually see it. Okay, let's see how this ends up. Oh, boy. And the Cardinals are coming out in all white. Really, Arizona? We got a snow game. Y'all coming out in all white. Oh, boy. Well, I guess let's see how bad this snow is going to end up looking. Because... It doesn't look like it's actually going to be too bad. It looks like they kind of got some stuff carved out a little bit. But still, this this, this might not be easy to uh, go up against. But hey, let's, let's see how it ends up working out for us. Hopefully, there's no benefits to us, man. They come from the desert. <laughs> I, I, affect, I imagine that's not going to go too well for them at all. But hey, some teams really don't care what weather you're in. But, and it's Madden at the same time. But hey, 
stop breaking that fourth wall here and let's see what we can do hopefully like i said the snow plays in our favor we got a couple guys we got to worry about getting upgrades as we're going to send this one away cairo santos should boom this at the back of the end zone i don't know all right, with all that wind i imagine he was going to boom that in there but hey cold air out there so maybe it's killing the ball a little bit but here we go here goes kyler murray I don't know if he's played this entire season or not, dude. I mean, really, yeah, that looks like full season stats. So, yeah, he's definitely been playing the entire year. I realize he literally just came back. Like a couple weeks ago, so. All right, well, let's see what type of day we can have out here. And, well, first things first. So, you got to start out in the bunch formation here. And they're going to take it underneath here. And it's going to be to James Conner, the running back. Dump down, picks up five. We can see our notable inactives, Khalil Herbert, Justin Fields, both on IR. Their season is done, unfortunately. Uh, we've known about Fields for a good while. Herbert ends up getting hurt, tearing his PCL in that last game, man. Just, that's a brutal injury. But the league leading rusher, too. It's second down and five for Kyler Murray. We're also going to have to be weary of read option. Is That's a good stop right there. Tremaine Evans able to shed the block and get in there for the tackle. Let's see if this defense can get off the field. Third down and four coming up. Back to throw is said inaccurate, but it's going to end up working out just perfectly for the Cardinals. And James Conner getting the bulk of the load here on offense as they keep it on moving. And oh, we tried to die. Oh, my goodness. And that sack hurts. Well, the Cardinals are off to a nice fast start. Already picking up a couple of first downs. Right now, defensively, we don't have many answers. It's another pass, and it's a big hit coming from Tremaine Edmonds. But, boy, Kyler Murray in this offense, the quick fire is working extremely well for them. Oh, there goes the second and two, and there goes the read option. Talked about it earlier. Dude, Jalen John Jalen Johnson is garbage. Jalen, you are literally garbage. Look at the, If y'all didn't see that on the left side of your screen, we're going to take a look, look at that. Look at Jalen Johnson. You're getting blocked by Hollywood Brown out of bounds, dude. Look at you. you can't even fight. Can't even get off Hollywood Brown, dude. He's literally, You literally got like three, four inches on him. <laughs> right, yeah. J Jalen is probably gone. If I had to be real. Like, he's giving me no reason to keep him around. And stepping up. Oh, we're going to scoop him up. Let's go. Tremaine Edmonds not fooled at all by anything... By Kyler, and we're able to come up there and make a nice tackle in the open field. Kyler easy to kill Shookers, but not able to do anything. We're able to sit him down. The Cardinals will be looking to take the early lead here. Look at Matt Prater is on for the field goal, and that kick is right through the uprights. 3 nothing early Cardinal lead. And Bayless is going to have an opportunity here. He'll get it inside the 5. And Bayless Jones is going to get this and pass the 25 to the 27-yard line. Here comes Tyson Bajan. He's going to be making his first start here in the snowy weather of Chicago. Boy, that is... That's a rough first start, boy, to come out here, not only in Chicago, but you're in the snow at that. Luckily, in real life, I mean, he didn't have to do that. He came in when it was still a lot warmer out. Well, we're not going to ease Tyson Bajan in. We're going to go ahead and throw him, put the feet to the fire. We're going to the air here early on. And we're going to find a man we had commit, but a great play. Their cornerback able to come up and knock it away. That could have been a big game to start. Unfortunately, it's going to be second and long. Still in shotgun, Bajan back to throw here. This ball is coming out a little late, but we found DJ Moore, but he's going to end up stepping out of bounds. We'll make it a third down and two, a good throw from Bajan there, and it's going to set us up with a nice way to be able to pick up this first down, hopefully. Third and two, we do not want to go with an early three and out. Go up there, Cody Whitehead. Thank you. It's going to be a first down run. Dante Foreman is going to pick it up. He's going to pick up a gain of eight, and we're going to keep trucking along. Second and six, they're daring us to run it right here. We got a good block up there from Cody Whitehead and Nate Davis. They would allow us to pick up this first down run, and Dante Foreman having a nice start to the day. First 10 shotgun. Looking downfield, we got a man. It is Darnell Mooney, and right now Tyson Bajan. It's been accurate on every single throw. The first pass just got knocked away, but right now, no issues at all. And Mooney getting us down inside the high red zone. Oh, man, Komet. We're going to go ahead and just put him on a streak. Komet might have six here. 
We're going to just take the shot. We need him to make a play, and it's knocked out. Buddha Baker. I'm going to say he dropped it, but that was pretty. looked like it was knocked out of his hand. Need to find a way to pick up seven yards here on third down. We're going to go into a five-wide look. We got a man underneath. Tyler Scott's going to be a yard short. Let's see what the OC does. Man, I would really like to go for him for the one. And they like us going for it, too. All right, let's do it. Put the big boy britches on. Got an RPO action here. Depending on what that DB does in that slot, we might have Mooney. And we're going to actually run it for him. He's going to find a way to pick up the first down. Everything works out well for us here so far this drive. And that is going to end the first quarter. And so far, little we might have to go for the three touchdowns with Cole Komet. It's getting 150 yards, man. That's, yeah, he, he's not really that type of tight end. He, he would have to catch on a break one. Like a very, like, to get most of that yardage. And we can't just force feed him either. Here's a first down and 10. Travis Homer is actually going to enter the game. He's in the backfield and wide open potentially. No, another great play by their cornerback. Jones, I, I'm not exactly sure who that is. Oh, it is Byron Jones. I, I didn't know Byron Jones was there. Huh. I, that was who first came to mind. I didn't say anything, but I did not know Byron Jones was in Arizona. All right, y'all, we got an opportunity here, third down and nine. I like DJ Moore potentially, depending on how they play this. And oof, they played it pretty well. Not much there. We're going to have to chuck this one out of bounds, and we'll have to set up for a field goal to tie this one up. Ended up getting the first down but on that fourth down, but not able to result it in a touchdown. And Cairo Santos will put it through to tie this one up. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. It, not back-to-back -back weeks. Sweet jeez. Great field position coming from the Cardinals. My gosh, y'all. Our sec, our, not secondary. Our special teams has been awful lately. Dude, where are you going? Steve? Oh, my God. Thankfully, they're just running the ball, but still. I, I just, man, man, just be stupid, man. These corners just end up going from one side of the field, and then they don't even switch their man off. Here's second and seven. Back to throw. Quick fire. They're going to end up picking. Uh, no, it's going to be just a little short. Ertz. I mean, third down and one. Let's see if we can get off this field, man. Come on, y'all. I'm tripping right now, defense. I'm playing extremely poor. Right, let's see if defense can get off the field here. Third down and one. They're going to go to the air. And it's going to. Oh, Jay, Jalen is so terrible. Jalen, go make a play on the ball. Uh, I can't, I can't call it y'all. He, he just does not do anything. Like, what is this, Jalen? You're there. You are literally there. You are watching Kyler the entire time, and then you just like, uh, no, I don't want to make a play on the ball. No, 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 I'm good. I don't like getting interceptions. I'm over him, man. I am literally over him. He's tripping in real life, and he's tripping on the game. I'll tell you what, he has been targeting. Zach Ertz a lot. Been trying to hit the safety valve. And there he goes. He's taking off. And there goes Kyler. And of course, we can't come up and make a hit. But I mean, it's Jalen Johnson anyway. He probably would have bounced off of it. Oh, oh, down he goes. Able to get home. Travis Gibson. He sent the blitz. Finally, somebody able to get there. My goodness. All right, third down and 11. Let's see if we can get off this field here. And wide open Rondell Moore. Just, oh my goodness. Brisker had too many bodies to try and deal with, and it was just a bad, it was, it was, honestly, it was more of a bad defensive play call. And we got DJ Moore on the slant. Let's go. Good stuff, DJ. Good stuff. That way to get over. Good throw by Bajit. He's up to 63 yards on the day. He's 5 of 10. Got a couple balls swatted away, man. And we had some open guys, too, on those swats. So let's commit. And we got a wide. Oh, boy, that's just not a good pass. He's wide open, Bajan. Make the throw. Things aren't looking well in this game. We're third down and long yet again. And, yeah, we need Bajan to find a way to make a throw here on third and 11. And we'll see if we can keep this drive moving. Got a man. It is Darnell Mooney able to get separation pushed out of bounds. Here we go, Mooney. Let's get it, man. Come on, guys, man. This is a bad Arizona team, too. Like, 
Like, we should not be struggling versus them, man. They're giving up literally pretty much 30 points a game. They're dead last in points per game giving up. Like, we got to get a move on. Third and 12, offensive line, I need you guys to hold up long enough. We need this first down. And the O-line <laughs> literally does the exact opposite. Hey, we had Tyler Scott. He was coming wide open. Literally coming wide open. Like, don't they right? What are you doing? You and Nate Davis. And, I mean, everybody. And Kevin Jenkins not even helping anybody. I'm literally, we got Tyler Scott coming free wide open. Bajan's not even playing bad, man, but offensive line has not has not came to play. It's not like the Cardinals got anybody scary on that D line, y'all. They are literally dead last in sacks, but they're making y'all look like bums. Let's right, see if defense can get off the field here. Third down and six. Man, looks like they're pretty much running slants in. I forget. Oh, ball is out! What a hit by Tremaine Edmonds! Just absolutely massacred. Kyler Murray on the play. Oh my gosh. Let him know you are not getting this first down and TJ Edwards able to recover it. Let's go. Good stuff. We got great field position now. Bajan, we need you to get it. We need to get this touchdown to come up. We got to find a way to get it. We need three of them and we're well behind. Like This, like this is our third drive and we have no touchdowns to show for it. Oh my oh Bajan. No, don't give me under pressure nonsense, man. I honestly I, I I do not know if we're gonna win this game or not. We 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 don't have quarterback play. So it's gonna be extremely hard for us to find a way to win a game or another game the rest of this year. It's gonna be extremely complicated. And we just missed. Oh, and it's a screen. Oh, of course they of course they run the screen. And of course we get flattened out when we run when they run the screen. If I run the screen, nobody is getting pancaked. I can guarantee that. Third down and one. Let's see if we can limit them to and they're just throwing that way. I think they'll run another screen there. Not exactly sure it's gonna run a fourth down in one situation. They will send out the field goal unit. Pray that we know you got a strong leg. Fifty two mile oh no, it's a fifty two yarder, not fifty two mile power win. Quite a strong win. He's kicking into it, and Prater's got no issues with it. He will extend their lead, and now it's a touchdown lead for the Cardinals. We're at halftime, and right now you can pretty much say this is kind of all Cardinals. We've moved the ball a little bit. I mean, we got it's pretty even on a amount of uh, snaps. They got 26, we got 25, but theirs has looked a lot better than ours. I mean, we got a turnover, and of course we immediately turn the ball right back over. I don't know what Madden has. With its infatuation with that, like get a turnover and they're like, oh no 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 no, you gotta give it right back. But uh, we gotta figure something out, man. Yeah, first and ten, we're gonna start off with a nice play action, and we're looking for DJ Moore, and we got DJ Moore. Gotta get DJ Moore the ball a little bit more. Yep. He's looking good here. He's got a nice. He's having definitely one of the better guys so far today. Play action pass. We got DJ yet again. And Tyson Page, a nice throw on the run. We're going to get pushed out of bounds there. And DJ Moore, two catches here to start off the third quarter. And we are looking good and moving along nicely. Let's keep up the aerial attack, man. It's working well so far to start. And once again, the offensive line is not able to hold up long enough for us to get this pass off. Oh, my gosh. Travis Homer has entered the game. Travis Homer making a nice move, and he's going to pick up the first down run. Good stuff from Homer. I want to move DJ Moore to like a streak, but I don't know. Yeah, I'm about to say, I don't know what this dude is doing. <laughs> how would, somebody explain how in any sense is that perfect accuracy. Man, you are high as a kite. Third and 10, O-line, please freaking protect. I mean, sweet jeez. And of course they don't. They literally are not protected. We literally blocked six versus four. And nobody is stopping anybody. Cairo once again out on for a field goal, and he's going to miss it. We pushed it. Oh, my gosh. How do we push that? We barely had the meter over in our nickel sets. So. Oh, of course, of course, Zach Hurst goes up and gets a ball that's going five to ten yards over his head. Because why wouldn't he make that damn play? Get up in the damn box, man. If I tell you how to come down, come down. 
That's why, because hey, that would have went a lot further if y'all were sitting back 20 yards the way you were. Oh, we got a mean mismatch. Hollywood Brown versus Tremaine Evans. Who's going to win this battle? Oh, well, they just ran curls in. TJ Edwards almost got home on the blitz. Defense is going to hold them to another field goal. They've been bending, but they have only, not, they really haven't been breaking here. But it's going to be yet another pretty, pretty solid chip shot for Prater. More likely going to hit a 52 yarder already in this game, and he's going to put on another field goal for him. 16 6, Arizona extends this to a two possession game now. Hey, one thing, boy, this couldn't have been a worse opportunity for like breakout players because neither one of them have, have got much going for them at all. But what a throw on the run is Darnell Mooney, and Mooney's going to get tripped up. He picks up a very, very solid game. We're up to the 46 yard line. Second and 10 shotgun. Try running RPO, but we're just going to have to hand this one off, and there's not much doing for Foreman. And that's the other issue, man. Anytime we've got, we get like a first down or two, and then the drives just get stalled out. Like we just stop being able to move the ball at all. Whether it's because of an inaccurate throw or what. A third down and eight, trying to pick it up. And got Komet. Komet's not able to get to it. They're sighting under pressure yet again. We just can't. Can't catch a break today. Honestly, we kind of got to go for it. Like, we literally have no choice. Because this one, if we punt, we're more, they're more likely just going to move down the field anyway and find a way to get points. I mean, we haven't yet to shown the ability to force them to punt. And the blitz comes right in through. I mean, my gosh, man. we. <laughs> oh, boy. Just, just a nightmare of a game. Oh, that it goes. Getting home, T.J. Edwards. Unfortunately, that is not Jack Sanborn getting there, but hey, T.J. Edwards making another play in the backfield. Third and 15, taking a shot, and Kyler Gordon can't play defense. <sighs> does not matter what we do. It does not. We have literally no answer for anything. Get a sack, and they pick it up, no problem. Gosh, dude. <laughs> well, we had just been sure at it literally every single way. We had just not had any answers. Like, I mean, this is, they're not even doing anything complicated. Like, we just suck. Like, literally, we just have nobody on this team that'll, like, make a play. Man, Evans by far been our best. Anyway, him and Evans have been very good today. But outside that, man, it is just. It's just, ugh. We don't have any TVs that can consistently make plays. And we just don't have anything. Oh, Tyreek Stevenson made a great play on the ball. It'll be yet another field goal. It'll be their fourth field goal of the day. Like the offensive line has been horrendous for the most part today. That is Bajan's fault. That's a misfire. Wide open Tyler Scott. The agent trying to use the legs, just don't fumble the ball. And somehow, done the, man, how did you hurt your shoulder, dude? Fourth and two. Let's go to DJ Moore. He's the only person on this team that's done anything to that. How did he even get caught? Like, dude just leaves his feet and us. Oh, yeah, that's going to put me in a good enough spot to be able to catch him. Like, no. It's getting wide open. Like, how? Like, dude, Komet is just wide open right there. Why, how are you misfiring that badly? Oh, boy, we got an issue, boy. I'm seeing Valus Jones. Equimania St. Brown's going to be. Oh, boy. Yeah, that means everybody is exhausted. For a fourth down and 10, but pretty much the game being on the line. Yeah, here we go. Offense line probably won't even block long enough. Yep. <laughs> Yep, <laughs> couldn't get down the block long enough. Uh, I don't even, to be honest, I don't even know, <laughs> we end up giving, and Sanborn ends up getting hurt. Like, whatever, dude. I'm pretty sure Sanborn didn't even make a tackle in this damn game. But a third down in a long situation, I'm sending this mess out, man, because I am just, I should have I sent the mess out of this a while ago. And honestly, <laughs> There's a good chance we might just end up simming the rest of the season. I am tired of this. Uh, it is way too dang hard to play with a quarterback that's not somewhat confident. 
But my gosh, dude, it's even worse when they're like in the 50s and 60s overalls. It's not even possible. I mean, look at that. Somebody had 200 yards and all that was going to freaking, uh, what's his name, DJ Moore. But 12 or 34, once again, not all of it was his fault. Offensive line, he ended up throwing out a sack quite a bit. But the offensive line played literally miserable versus an uh, awful pass rush. They literally had the worst pass rush in the league this year. End up with a 43.8 rate, 200 yards and a pick, like, and 35% passing. Then we tapped that off with literally no rushing yards pretty much at all. Like, my goodness, man, that's awful. Mooney and DJ Moore were able to get their things going. That's really about it. Komet needed three touchdowns or 150 yards. Didn't come close to either one of them. I mean, threw him some balls in the red zone. Unfortunately, just couldn't connect, but... It, it was it was just an awful day. It was no way there was no way we were getting it done. We did get a sack out of Gibson and Edwards, but nothing from this team really at all. Really, the bright spot was Tremaine Edmonds forced a fumble. Edwards recovered one. Fan of Samuel had three tackles. Honestly, I didn't see Samuel anywhere, but it is what it is. But this game's finally over. Nobody got their breakouts. Didn't even come close. Try getting Sam Bourne some action, but just an ugly performance. I mean, you would have thought we would have seen coming from Arizona. Yeah, we know you didn't get it done, dude. You literally were nowhere around, Komet. The opportunity, and then some opportunity, you couldn't catch the ball, or we got a bad throw, or we had just no time in the pocket to get on the ball. So, the scheme play, Connor Sam Bourne, you literally did not do shit, dude. Like, go on somewhere. The awful performance, just straight up awful. Moving on, we got the Falcons next week. Who knows, maybe we put B.J. Walker back in there. I don't know. I mean, I, I'm done with most of the players on this team anyway. There's two games left. I imagine we've fallen out of that wild card spot by now. Yeah, now, and not a freaking remake package in there. But it is what it is, but that is going to do it for me here today, everybody. we got two games left for the regular season. I'm really, really, really going to be struggling to finish out these last two games, but... We're going to try and push through, but that is going to do it for me, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, make sure you guys hit the like button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on how, how the rest of this season is going to end up going. Boy, we can't, I can't. Let me know if y'all are ready for this offseason. I mean, my goodness, because I sure am. If you guys are new here, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with this Chicago Bears franchise. The more that we got here on the channel. I've been doing the Tennessee Titans live streams. And if you guys are interested in that, playlist link in the description. If y'all miss any videos here on this Bears franchise, playlist link also in the description. Once again, apologies for not getting the video, I guess, uploaded properly. I had to re-upload, so well, hopefully everything has been good now. But that's the next time, everybody. I hope you guys stay safe out there. I'll catch you guys in the next one. God bless and peace. Close it out, future. It's the love from my fans got me still here.